Hey everybody, it's Karen from Happiness is Homemade. Hope y'all are having an awesome day. So, I am back to do one more video in August, and it is a yarn chat. So, this is episode number six, or yarn chat number six. <laughs> and thank you for being so patient with me. Um, I did get a chance to do some videos in August, like I was planning on. And I'm planning on a couple of more, not as many, but more in September. I really would like to show you a couple of cool things that I found on Pinterest. So I'd like to do another What's Poppin' on Pinterest, because that was fun. I loved that. And I'll do, have to do another um, yarn chat too. So uh, let's get in the good stuff. So I'll start with finished items. First thing is a whole bunch of hats. Yeah. Well, I don't know. For me, it's a lot. How about that? It's a lot for me. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if I showed it, but I finished the one for my niece. It's really cute. And so this one, I'll show a picture of it. And if I already showed you, and I'm so sorry, but Sometimes I just don't keep track of things very well. <laughs> okay, and that was made with the uh, Yarn Bee Soft Illusions. Okay, and I made another one for Grace, which this looks huge, but it's just really fluffy. It fits her perfect. It like goes right over her ears and everything like that. So, and this is made with the uh, Yarn Bee Soft Illusions. So there you go. And I finally finished Liam's hat because I found it. And so I put the pom pom on there. There you go. And I decided not to uh, do a stitch on here to keep it secure. That way he can play with it and do what do do whatever, you know. Um also also, I made a scarf, ear warmer, and hat set for my niece coming, my other niece, <laughs> uh, who's turning 11. And um, so here's the hat. It looks better on. <laughs> Grace was my model. So it has this little bow, and here's the like, stitch. And this is by um, Premier Yarns Sweet Roll, <laughs> sorry, brain, uh, Sweet Roll in, I believe, Raspberry Swirl, I believe, okay? And so, and I just put a little bow there, because I don't know, I was going to put a pom-pom, but I don't know, I don't know, I just wanted something different, so I just put a bow, so there you go. That's what I did. And uh, I made the bow by just doing a single crochet in like a rectangle. And then I did a little thin rectangle and folded it, sewed it on, and then there you go. It's a little bow. Nice and easy, simple, simple. Here is the ear warmer. And um, well, you can tell. There is the button that I painted for her. Just really simple kind of like flowers on there. There you go. That way she can adjust it however she wants. So there's the ear warmer that goes with it. And then here is the scarf. And it's all in this uh, shell V stitch. And I used um, two cakes of the raspberry swirl. It is raspberry swirl. There you go. I just found it. Sorry about that. Okay, so there we go. So we have that little set finished. I also, I don't know if I ever showed this. So if I showed it, ignore me. 
maybe I did show it. I can't remember. And I'm so sorry. But I finally put the paw prints on Isabella's scarf. So here is her little paw prints on her wolf scarf. There we go. That's her hat that goes with it. It's like a wolf hat. Okay. The other thing I made is for Grace's doll. And she has an 18 inch doll. And it is a nightgown. And it has uh, two little buttons in the back. And the pattern I got from Red Heart. So, and I used um, pastel colored, like, um, yarn. And it's actually the yarn that I got from Maria from Maria's Quilts, Crafts, and More Crochet. Why can't I ever say that right? It's not really that hard. I don't know what my problem is. <sighs> Yikes. Anyway. The yarn she, one of the yarns that she gave me in our swap, um, I used that to make the nightgown. So yes, we have that. The other thing I have finished was um, for two different cows. There was Lacey's 80s mail, and the other one was for Blue Heart Crochet's uh, Vintage. Uh, I keep saying um today and it's gonna really bother me later when I'm editing so I just want to apologize and it's for Blue Heart Crochet who is doing a vintage themed crochet along so uh, I finally finished it and I'm really excited so my stole is finished so there we go and I actually have a progress a progress keeper on here and that's where I was last time okay so that's where I was last time and this is what I got done <laughs> but wait there's more there we go I really loved doing this I love doing that doing this um, stole was very very fun um, I liked working with the yarn and uh, I I liked the pattern it was mindless so that's why I just kept going and going and it is very warm very comfortable and my husband the the day I like sewed in all the ends and every weaved in all the ends and everything I laid it on the couch because I was going to take a picture and I just didn't take a picture and what did he do he ended up putting th that on him and he fell asleep with it so <laughs> he broke it in the first night I had it done so yay uh, I'll go ahead and show some pictures of it I'm really proud of it so yes that is my stole Oh, okay. I also was commissioned by my mother-in-law to make her a Fitbit uh, bracelet. So I'll go ahead and show that here. And it's a beaded little anklet. And then I crocheted with um, some crochet thread, a little like pouch, I guess you can call it a pouch. And then you put her her Fitbit is like this big. I know there's some people that have like the Fitbit that are, it's like a watch. Well, she wanted it for her ankle so she could actually track the movement more properly. Does that make sense? Okay. Anyway, so I made like this little pouch, put that, put the Fitbit in it, and then you close it together with like two jump rings and um, like a lobster claw. If that makes any sense, okay. <laughs> Not everyone does jewelry and like stuff like that. But anyway, um, it's a big, huge hit. And a lot of people are asking for it at her work. So I don't know. We might have more of those in the future. 
We will have to see. And I also made a little pouch uh, for Summer from Summer's Tips and Stitches. It was her birthday the other week. Was the other week? Yeah, sorry. And so I sent her a little, um, it's like a Notions pouch. And uh, I follow this one lady and I'm gonna, I totally forgot her name. Hopefully I'll pop it right here. She actually, I, wa I follow her on Instagram and she said that she released a pattern and I thought it was so cool. So I automatically went over, got it, and uh, so yes, there you go. Notions pouch, the little dragonfly notion pouch. And then I just added a little button that I painted at the bottom so it could keep closed. But it's pretty, it, it was made with worsted weight. I love this yarn, so I think it's gonna be fine. But, um, like it would have been fine it would have kept closed but just in case and plus i wanted to add a button because i like painting stuff so <laughs> why not so yes that was the dragonfly pencil slash notions pouch that i made all right the other thing that i'm almost done with and I just totally messed them up is my snowy owl that I made I just totally messed this I had Liam's hat on him <laughs> so here's my snowy owl I'm just missing his feet I haven't finished his feet so I guess this is a work in progress but he's gonna be taking a nap for just a little bit and actually some really cool news um, the lady who is Old Soul Crochet CEO, she is doing the Snowy Owl Cow on YouTube now. So I will have to link her YouTube so you can go check her out and everything like that, which is great because then when I have some free time, I can finish this poor little feet. So I guess that leads us into whips now. So this is my whip, but I'm almost done with him and everything like that. I want to shape his head a little bit more. I don't, but of course he's like totally blown out, but you can kind of see, and I changed, you can tell, I changed the hook size from here. She must uh, crochet very tight. <laughs> I am a very loose crocheter. So I have to go down in size and crochet hook. So I went down and you can kind of, you can see the difference. But it's kind of cool because she was saying use the black nylon. So that way you can see the like little um, speckles, black speckles on the snowy owl. So there you go. That's my work in progress. And he'll be taking a nap for a little while until I get some, uh, items finished some other items finished okay so whips my works in progress and so my daughter's birthday is October 10th and she asked me to make her some doll clothes okay <laughs> I can do that if that's something she really wants so I am going to work on that for her so that is going to be in the near future is more American Girl doll, 18 inch doll um, outfits and different things like that. So my mom's gift for um, her, I need to work on. That's a secret that I can't show. I don't want to show it so bad. Okay, so I need to make some um, more progress on that. It's very hard to do because my mom and I crochet together all the time. And so I can't do that while she's here. And I can't work on my daughter's birthday gifts while she's here. So it's got to be while she's at school. So, yeah. <laughs> I guess that's the problem when you make 
gifts for people in your family, it's, it's really hard to keep it a secret. So, alrighty. Uh, the other thing I will be working on is uh, amigurumi food. So, my niece is going to be getting something for Christmas. Not from me, but from my mother-in-law. And I asked if I could make a whole bunch of amigurumi food to go in there. She's getting a kitchen. I don't think that that side of the family watches me. So it's fine. <laughs> She's getting a little kitchen for Christmas uh, from my mother-in-law. And I asked if it was okay if our gift to her, because it is so hard to buy for like a one-year-old. You don't want to overload the parents with like toys that like they're not really going to play with and all this other stuff. So I thought that maybe I would get like a little basket for her, make some little amigurumi food and like cupcakes and you know sandwich stuff so she could make sandwiches or burgers or something like that. So something fun. Some fruit, different things. So I've been on the lookout for a whole bunch of stuff and that's one of the really cute things that I want to show you on Pinterest because um, I found something really cute. Really cute. So cute. So I need to show you that. And let's see. Oh, the other thing is that Nicole from Darab Creations is going to be hosting a Halloween crochet along. And I think it's a make-along. I think it's a make-along. So, Mal. Yeah. Anyway, she'll be hosting that. And that starts September 1st. And I am going to make this. I always wear a... And this is by Snappy Tots. I forget her name. And I'm so sorry. It's like right there in my head and I can't even think. Oh boy. Anyway, Snappy Tots um, created that. So I'm gonna buy that in September, the pattern. And I'll be making that for the cow. I think that's gonna be so fun to put on and take the kids trick or treating. And I thought I'd make like a an ear warmer or maybe like a band to like a hat or something like that. I think I'd get more use out of like an ear warmer. Knowing me, I'm so cheesy. I'd wear it all the time. <laughs> In the winter time and everything. I I just would. I just, I think it's so cute and fun and whatever. But I usually wear this big, huge witch's hat. And it, it's, it's like so hot and like it, is like over my face it's really cool and I put like spiders and like this tool and like all this stuff on it but at the same time I'm running after a two-year-old a seven-year-old she'll be seven seven and a four-year-old yeah so making a scarf and like a little headband for that gonna be so much more easier to deal with <laughs> So that is what I will be making for um, her make along. So yes, see that and I'm really excited about it. And let's see. Oh, the other item that is a whip that um, is in a timeout is actually my Grinda, Grindle, Grinda, sorry, Grinda shawl. And that is just in time out until I get some uh, progress on my Christmas presents. I get some of uh, Grace's doll clothes done and I finish that um, scarf and ear, ear warmer set. So yes, that is in time out. Uh, new items. So... I have not bought anything for myself. I've bought for like um, carousel packages, 
or swaps or anything like that. And I'm actually in a swap right now, uh, hosted by Seta's Place, Seta from Seta's Place. I'm in um, a swap with a very nice lady named Marianne. So, hi Marianne! And uh, we're still working out the kinks and everything like that about our swap with each other. So, it's a yarn swap, so I'm very excited about that. Um, otherwise than that, I really haven't, I have not bought anything. I have been going through the stash like crazy. I've been just like, okay, guess what? We're going to make it this color. We're going to do, we're going to use this yarn. I haven't done this yet. And so we've been going, I, we, me, myself and I, yeah, but I've been going through a lot of, um, what I have. So I'm very proud of myself. I haven't bought anything and I don't plan on buying anything next month unless I like absolutely need it. I'm going to buy that pattern from uh, the Snappy Tots lady. I'm, I can't, why can't I remember her name? Such a nice lady. She has a really great Facebook page that um, Ella turned me on to. Um, she was talking about it and she did a couple patterns items from patterns from her but she gives away uh patterns for like a dollar sometimes she runs sales all the time so go over to that facebook group and check it out because there's a lot of cool stuff on there i like that one so my mom i don't know if she still does but she is a wish person she gets stuff from wish all the time and she got some hooks for like a dollar on Wish. She doesn't like them. So she gave them to me. So that is one of my new items. And they're really cool. They're just like these little... Like I'm afraid to use this one. But I don't, can you even see this? Like really? That is like so little. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Dude, I love this though. This is like this really pretty blue and it's coming up on camera true true to color. Yeah. But I don't know, just really fun. I recently got um a couple of larger hooks to do um it was before August cuz I haven't bought anything except for other people. <laughs> Which I have been enjoying everybody else's like I ha I even, I even went to Walmart when everyone was saying, oh yeah, Walmart has this yarn for like a dollar or whatever, Mandela's, because I love Mandela's. Go there and no, they don't. And actually at my Walmart, they scratched off the markdown sticker on them. I thought that was so weird. Like... Why would you take the time to, like, mark them all and then scratch them off? I don't know. I don't know. I don't have so much luck with that. So, I was bummed out, but I got to enjoy all the all the pretty yarn, and I just went over there and squished it a little bit and tried not to mess it up and just looking. Just looking. <laughs> Getting some ideas. And so, yeah, I was so excited. She goes, here, just have them. I don't like them. I was like, oh, okay. I'll take those hooks. So, yeah. Okay. So, and that's not by anyone. It's just, it came in this bag. So, I'll just put it in my little jar that I hold all the little hooks and everything like that. That's what I'll do. The other thing is that Lacey from Hooked on Owls podcast just made her video and she said that um, she's going to push back her mail that she is going to do, that she has going on right now. It was supposed to end on the 26th, but because she's been so busy, I don't know if you watched her last podcast, she made like 8 million of these like cute little owls and like a huge one. It was like this, it was like, it was like this guy, but you know. I was like, oh my gosh, how's she? And then she made mermaids and she made like a knitted hat 
for her to wear to like um their podcast meetup at the like fiber festival which I so wanted to go it was six hours away from my house <laughs> it was six hours away I even signed my mom up for it and I was like no I cannot I can't do it because I'd spend all the money on gas and like food and everything like that just to get up there and be like so yeah I'm just like hanging out and torturing myself so yeah anyway she pushed back her uh, I'm on rabbit trails like no other today so just please excuse me she pushed back her make along so if you want to head over to her podcast I'll link the video um, that she talks about it and everything like that. I think she said the end of September she is going to um, push it back to. So if you have any 80s themed, um, I used a pattern that was made in the 80s. So it can be that. So she goes over it. So I'll link her down below. Really awesome. It was really fun. What else? So I guess I can talk about like some personal stuff now. <laughs> so I got a job. Okay. I already have a job. I am a stay at home mom of three kids. And yeah, that's, that's full time. It's 24 hours because if they don't sleep, you don't sleep. And if they're sick, you got to stay home with them. Well, I found an opportunity to have a job where I control the hours and I pick what I want to work and everything like that. So it's like this. Really awesome because I'm bringing in some money for my family and I'm contributing to uh, my family. Really not so cool because I can't rely on it because sometimes there are no deliveries for me to make. Okay. Other thing is, is Joe's schedule changes on like, just like no other. Like he'll, he'll be home one day and I'll be like, oh, don't you got to start getting ready for work? He's like, oh, no, I'm off today now. I'm like, oh, okay. So, and if I had like a regular job, that would not work out. <laughs> so, what we do is, Joe and I, is I work early, early, early in the morning until about afternoon and then we basically like high five each other. He goes off to work and then I take care of the kids and everything like that for the rest of the day. Put them to bed, everything, you know, you know, the mom stuff. And then on days that he's off, I work all day. So like I'll start, the other day I started at like a, got up at 3.30, 3.30 or 4, can't remember. I used to work for a bakery, so getting up at 3.30 in the morning is not that big of a deal. It really is not. So I was fine with that. Once I had like a couple cups of coffee and I was fine, I was fine. Took a shower, you're fine. So I came home for lunch and then I went back out and then I finally came home and like for dinner and I was like okay I'm spent for the day and which is fine you can choose to do that like you pick up jobs um, how it works for you so it, it's good because it works around my schedule it's bad because I can't rely on it because there's not always going to be deliveries that I am able to make and um, so yes so Joe and I are trying to like figure out if this is really going to work. But if I were to have a job, that is what I, I would be doing. 
So, I'm, it's in the, like, trial phase right now. So, yeah. But, I, it's, it's not hard. It's just long hours, and you're away from your family, and I've been here at home for now, like, um, two and a half years. So, to go out, and I know he does a great job with my kids here and everything like that, but, you know, still I think about him. You know. But... It's still nice because I can still be a stay-at-home mom, but I can still earn a little bit of cash for my family when it works out in our favor schedule. I don't know if that's what... <laughs> Words are escaping me today. <laughs> um, anyway, so that's why I haven't really made a lot of videos or anything because by the time I would get home... I get make dinner, uh, get lunch made for tomorrow, for my daughter, for school, and clean up the kitchen, get a load of laundry done or something like that, and pick up here and there. I barely got a chance to sit and crochet anything. So I really couldn't make a video because I really had nothing but work to talk about. So it was kind of a little bit boring like this video is getting now. <laughs> so anyway, I want to say thank you so much to um, all my returning uh, watchers. Watchers, is that what you said? Thank you for everyone who returned and thank you to all my new subscribers. I'm so happy to have you and uh, keep tuned for more videos. Otherwise than that, I hope you all have an awesome week enjoy the long weekend if you have a chance to have a long weekend <laughs> i'll be working <laughs> which i'm happy to do it i'm happy to work so anyway hope you all have a great week and talk to you soon bye